If these walls could talk, they would share a little known but incredibly powerful part of Pittsburgh's history. I was like, okay, so you had a numbers runner with an opera company with the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Pittsburgh Pirates, Joe Lewis, you had people like Lena Horn all in one house. A house built in Homewood in 1894, which would eventually become the home of America's first black opera company and much more. And it wasn't just uh, famous musicians, it was also the Pittsburgh Pirates and uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And that's how Roberto Clemente came to live at the house. Jeanette Solomon, just out of college, bought it in 2000, learning not only how it gave blacks access to music, but also sheltered them when they traveled through Pittsburgh. The reason you had so many minority celebrities in the home is because it served as a hotel for minorities that could not stay downtown. Now, the National Negro Opera House is in need of repair, designated as one of America's most endangered historic places, and inspiring groups like the Young Preservationist Association to help. It's the first time in 20 years that a property in Pittsburgh has landed on the 11 most endangered list. I always say that national attention brings local recognition and our hope is that recognition will give us the funding or access to the funding we need to finally restore the home. Mm.